What's going on? So you got a new puppy, huh? Yes, sir. Dr. Ross and I met uh, through some mutual friends seven or eight years ago, and we've been pretty good friends ever since. So you bring him in for his eyes, huh? Yeah, I mean, I, I, I noticed a little bit of tenderness and redness in his eye. I'm not sure what it is and okay. how he got it. And so I thought I'd bring him in and let you guys take a look. Cash, he's an 11-month-old English bulldog. He's the second son in the family. He's really a, a big, drooling, eating, four-legged baby in the house. Is he your dog or is he my dog? My dog. What? Is it just that one eye? Just been the one eye. Been there for you know, a couple weeks now, so. Yeah. So basically, what it looks like to me is that he has what we call a cherry eye. Oh, and all man. that is is the protrusion of the, the third eyelid. Right. And it's basically a gland right there that helps produce tears. Humans have two eyelids, an upper and a lower. Dogs have a third eyelid, which is a nictating membrane. It, it kind of just comes out and protects the eye when it comes in contact to any type of dust, any type of material. It acts as a protective covering over the eye. Another benefit of the third eyelid, it produces tears to help with lubrication of that eye. It is something that puppies get. Um, they usually get it but anywhere from between four weeks to two years of age. They could be due to some type of traumatic injury or a congenital defect. Cherry eye is very common in brachiocephalic breeds, the breed that has a smushed in muzzle and a flattened face, um, such as a bulldog. So is there anything I could have done to prevent this? Or? It's just something that happens in this particular um, type, of, type of pet. It's just a matter of time that he would get it. We recommend surgically repairing it. Oh, so he's going to go into the knife? Yeah, we're going to have to cut it. OK. The way I'm going to go about this surgery is a pocket technique where you just make a little pouch around the gland and kind of put it back in its normal position. And usually, once you repair it, um, it's a quick fix, and you don't have to worry about it coming back. Well, I know we're in the right place, and he's in, he's in wonderful hands. And uh, yeah, we'll take whatever care. you tell me needs to be done is what you know. Let's keep him overnight, and we'll do the surgery tomorrow afternoon. Carter, you, you, you all right for me to do surgery on this guy? Uh, yeah. All right, perfect. We'll get him taken care of. All right, boss. So, Thank you, Dr. Ross. I appreciate it. Ready? Come on, big guy. Let's get down. Be good, Cash. Bye-bye, Cash. Bye-bye. Right. We'll take care of him. Say bye-bye.